welcome to my manga shelf tour. I only have one shelf in my room for manga. It takes up a lot of space. It's kind of hard to get this all in one frame here. So there you go, you can kind of get a better view of it. But I've been collecting manga since 2018. So a little over five years now I've been collecting manga. And the very first manga series that I ever got here was the Death Note. I got the, the box set for Death Note, it was like 60 bucks. 60 bucks for all of Death Note is definitely really compelling and I was a huge fan of that series. So that was kind of my gateway into buying manga. And yeah, since then, now I have this entire shelf. Um, I did not think it was ever going to get to this point. I mean, I maybe. I mean, if you were to ask me like 2017, 2016, I did not think I was ever going to get into manga because first off, I thought it was kind of weird. I don't know, I just didn't think this would have happened, so. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna showcase all of my manga here. It's kind of hard to organize manga because I never know how to organize it. Do I organize it by the author or by size? Well, I kind of did both. I did both by size and by author. So. so the first shelf we have here is Soul Leader Perfect Edition. I have one through five. I did not need these. I already have all of the regular ones, but I I'm a huge fan of Soul Leader. This was uh, my very first anime. And it's what got me into anime to begin with way back in like 2011 so yeah so then I have all the, I have one through five of the perfect editions I have one through 25 which is all of Soul Eater pretty good series it's very different from them from the anime like halfway through the anime and the manga kind of split so then they come become very different between each other so I like the the manga more but I feel like the personalities come out better in the anime, so. But yeah, I'm a huge fan of Soul Eater. It's pretty, it's not like an amazing manga, but it's one of those like comfort things that I can read or get into whenever I just wanna, you know, feel like I'm in middle school again or something. So yeah, just a very good series. I really like the characters. And if you don't know, this guy right here is, it's kind of hard to do this one hand here, but this guy right here is my profile picture. Um, it's, it's either Link or it's Death the Kid. That's kind of, that's, uh, the character in my thing here. So then I have Hunter Hunter in the back there. I kind of ran out of space, so I have to do this weird double shelving thing. So I have Hunter Hunter of like 33 to 36, I think. Then I have Twilight Princess, one through three. Then I have all of the Zelda manga here, the single volumes here, they're in the back there. I don't want to move this because it's all going to fall. <laughs> So then the next shelf here, I have all of Berserk, all of the single volumes of Berserk. So that's one all the way up to 41. Huge, huge fan of Berserk. This is my favorite manga by far. Um, nothing else compares to it. It's also one of my more recent mangas that I've been getting. And yeah, now I have it all complete and I'm a huge fan of it. I also have the deluxe editions down there. I do not need the deluxe or the single. I mean, I got the deluxe first, but they're just way too heavy. And I, I honestly kind of regret buying them because they're just, not very comfortable to read. I mean, they're super nice looking on the shelf, but I mean, who cares if they look good on the shelf? I want to actually have, I want to actually read my stuff and enjoy it, so yeah. So then I have all of that one through 41. My favorite series by far is really, really good. It's more than just like, like you, Berserk has gotten really popular lately and a lot of like, like cringy people kind of get into it and all they see is, oh, Guts is cool. And, you know, it's all about revenge and that's part of the story, but that's not the main focus of it. So Berserk is definitely my favorite manga. It's super, super good. Then we have, I already showed this. I have Death Note 1 through 12. And then there's this little 13 how to read thing. It's like a guide book kind of thing. Huge fan of Death Note. I like the anime more than the manga, but the manga is pretty much identical anyways. Oh, I should say the ending is different in the anime than it is in the manga. Then I have Death Note short stories. Nothing super interesting in there. There's one cool thing that I want to show you. So, so this this is what, this is what I want to show you. So yeah, Donald Trump is in Death Note. I know that seems stupid, and it's kind of stupid, but. It's also really good. It kind of fits his character, how he acts too. I really like it. Um, I just wanted to show you that because I thought that was awesome. Then I have the Death Note Black Editions. That's one through six. I did not know these exist until after I got the regular ones. This is way, way after I got the original ones, which was back in like 2018. So I, mean, I guess I could sell the original ones, but I still like how they look and I'm a huge fan of the series. So, you know, I guess I just have both now. Definitely recommend the black editions over the original ones though. They're just a lot higher quality. Not higher, they're a little bit higher quality. I just think they look nicer on the shelf. They're slightly better quality. Then I have all of Tokyo Ghoul. 
1 through 14, and Tokyo Ghoul Re 1 through 16. Tokyo Ghoul, the manga is so, so much better than the anime. The anime kind of sucks after the first season. I'm sure you've heard this like a million times by now that the anime kind of sucks. There's good stuff about the anime, like the, the music is really good, and I really like some aspects of it, like the action and stuff, but after the first season, it goes a different path and just becomes kind of stupid and then they try and go back and follow Bree completely but it just becomes super rushed and it's not very good even the manga the, the I think Bree Tokyo Ghoul Re kind of drops off in quality on like maybe volume 8 7 or 8 I feel like this right here this 8 through 16 is kind of it feels kind of rushed and it's not that great I feel, I feel like the artwork becomes kind of messy and that's one of the big selling points of Tokyo Ghoul is the, the artwork so I feel like sometimes everyone kind of just looks like you know this guy Kaneki here so I, I can't tell who's who half the time and I think feel like that's one of the big reasons I just kind of not a huge fan of the series as much as I wish I was the original Tokyo Ghoul 1 through 14 is absolutely amazing it's it's really really good and Tokyo Ghoul really is really good as well up until like maybe volume 7 or 8 then it kind of becomes a mess and feels kind of rushed then one of the more recent additions is the Attack and Titan Omnibus I have 1 through 34, so that's all of Attack on Titan, 12 om omnibuses. I have not read through all of it yet, I'm on the very 10th omnibus here, so I have still a bit of the ending. So I don't entirely know how it ends, but I know the anime ended. The dub hasn't come out for the anime, so I'm still kind of waiting for that before I do anything, before I finish it. But I may just end up reading the manga, manga before I end up finishing the anime, which is kind of weird. Because I started with the anime back in like 2015, so I'm not sure if I should just wait for it to come out or just finish it with the manga. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to ruin the experience by reading it through the manga first because I feel like Attack on Titan especially really, really benefits from being an anime just because of the music and the action and stuff. It's just a lot more emotional. Then this next shelf here, I have all of The Walking Dead, so it's 1 through 16. Very, very different from the, the TV show. I'm sure, I'm sure most people know that. I like the TV show more in the first few seasons, so that's like the, the big in the beginning. I like the the TV show more, but I would say by like volume eight, which is like the Negan arc, I feel like eight through sixteen is way better in the in the the comic books versus the TV show because they kind of you know they kind of lose focus and it becomes kind of stupid after a certain point. They really really stretch it out so they can make as much money as possible. Yeah, they also have like 10 different Walking Dead shows now, which is really stupid. So I'm not a huge fan of the new stuff of Walking Dead, but I really like the first like three or four seasons of Walking Dead, I think is amazing. And the comic books is also really good as well. I'm not crazy about it, but I do really enjoy it. I do think it's definitely something I'm, I'm happy to own. By the way, it's kind of awkward because I have this giant um, thing in the way, so it's it's kind of hard to get back here. Then I have my Junji Ito collection, so I have Gyo. But wait, also I have um, I have a single thing of Batman Year One kind of hidden back here. So this is like my little comic book collection. Then we have all of my Junji Ito stuff. There's also one Junji Ito down there. But So then I have Gyo, Uzumaki, Tomi, Deserter, Frankenstein, Love Sickness, Shiver, Smash, Tombs. Can't really see that. Black Paradox. Fragments of Horror, The Liminal Zone, and Remina. Then I have these little Junji Ito statues that my uncle gave me. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Junji Ito stuff. Mostly I like his artwork. Sometimes his stories is kind of hit or miss. It can either be really interesting or kind of lame. So it can go back and forth, but I'm a huge fan. If you start reading Junji Ito stuff, you obviously you should probably start with Uzumaki. That's kind of like the... The most popular one that most people end up starting with but yeah, that's what i would recommend everything here are just like these little short story collections then the very bottom of the shelf oh my god you can't see anything <laughs> then i have all i have berserk deluxe edition one through ten i got the deluxe edition before i got the single volumes all the way up there but it kind of just depends on what you're looking for i think the deluxe i mean i think the single volumes are more comfortable to read and I prefer to read them that way, but my first experience with reading the Berserk manga was the deluxe editions. Also, originally I watched a 90s anime, which is what got me into Berserk to begin with, so huge, huge fan of the, the 90s anime. It's really, it's one of my favorites. Then I have a single volume of Blame, or I can always pronounce this wrong, single volume of Blom. I don't know why there's an E there, it's stupid. A single volume of Blom. I've read all of the 
one through six of Blom. Um, my uncle blended the volumes to me, so I've read through them. Then I have No Longer Human. Oh, I actually have, I have Biomega. That's like a, that's by the same author who made Blom. It's like a zombie kind of apocalyptic story. The other volumes are kind of out of stock and it was interesting, but you know, I don't think I really need to own all of it. Then we have Junji Ito, No Longer Human. I couldn't fit that on this shelf, so I had to move it down. I also think this is my least favorite Junji Ito manga. Just, I really don't like the main character. I mean, I guess that's the point. He's not supposed to be a good person, but yeah, it's kind of hard to, to read through that. Then I have a single volume of Vinland Saga. I have not read through this yet. This is a newer thing that I recently got like last week. So I want to read through that eventually. There's a few mangas I still need to read. Like I need to read through, I'm like halfway through Tombs, which I recently picked up. Need to read through the rest of Attack on Titan. So 10 through 12 omnibuses. And then Vinland Saga is also what I need to read. And then that's pretty much it. Then I have everything read on my shelf. Then in the back here, that's Dracula and uh, Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. That is my entire manga shelf. I'm getting to the point where I don't want to spend any more money on manga and it's already taking up a ton of space. This might be the end of me buying manga. I mean, I'm still going to buy manga here and there, but for the most part, this is what it's going to be like for the next, at least for the next year, next few years, I may end up buying like a couple of manga and most, maybe a year, but that's kind of it for my manga stuff, at least until I eventually, you know, get older and then maybe get my own um, apartment or something like that and I can buy another shelf and buy have more money to actually spend on it otherwise i kind of want to save up my money and you know buy other things and you know save up so i can actually you know, move out one day <laughs> yeah that's everything on my shelf hopefully you enjoyed this and yeah i will see you next time